A two-stage to-orbit (TSTO) or two-stage rocket launch vehicle is a spacecraft in which two distinct stages provide propulsion consecutively in order to achieve orbital velocity. It is intermediate between a three-stage to-orbit launcher and a hypothetical single-stage to-orbit (SSTO) launcher. At liftoff, the first stage is responsible for accelerating the vehicle. At some point, the second stage detaches from the first stage and continues to orbit under its own power. An advantage of such a system over single stage to orbit is that the most of the dry mass of the vehicle is not carried into orbit. This reduces the cost involved in reaching orbital velocity as much of the structure and engine mass is ejected and a larger percentage of the orbited mass is payload mass. An advantage over three or more stages is reduction in complexity and fewer separation events, each of which increases cost and risk of failure. Topic. Examples Angara 1.2 Atlas V 401 and 501 BFR proposed New Glenn proposed Cosmos 3M Delta 4 medium Falcon 1 Falcon 9 Electron Saturn IB Saturn VSL1 Skylab launch TSYKLON2 Vulcan proposed Zenit 2 It is not always clear when a vehicle is a TSTO. Many designs which use booster rockets at liftoff are referred to as single stage to orbit if there is no additional upper stage. Some have also coined the expression 1.5 STO for one and a half stage to orbit, e.g. for the Atlas missile the half stage refers to the booster engines which were jettisoned early in the launch. Topic: Reusable launch systems. With reference to a reusable launch system, this approach is often proposed as an alternative to single stage to orbit or SSTO. Its supporters argue that since each stage may have a lower mass ratio than an SSTO launch system, such a system may be built further away from limits of its structural materials. It is argued that a two-stage design should require less maintenance, less testing, experience fewer failures and have a longer working life. In addition the two-stage approach allows the lower stage to be optimized for operation in the Earth's lower atmosphere, where pressure and drag are high, while the upper stage can be optimized for operation in the near-vacuum conditions of the later part of the launch. This allows an increase in the payload mass fraction of a two-stage vehicle over single-stage or stage-and-a-half vehicles, which have to perform in both environments using the same hardware. Critics argue that the increased complexity of designing two separate stages that must interact, the logistics involved in returning the first stage to the launch site, and the difficulties of conducting incremental testing on a second stage will outweigh these benefits. In the case of airplane-like lower stages they also argue how difficult and expensive high-speed aircraft like the SR-71 are to develop and operate, and question performance claims. Many mini -shuttle designs that use transport aircraft as first stages also face similar problems with ice, foam as the space shuttle due to the requirement they also carry a large external tank for their fuel. As of 2019 SpaceX is the only launch provider which achieved first stage reuse of an orbital vehicle with the two-stage Falcon 9 and 2.5-stage Falcon Heavy. <laughs> Helicopter-like first stage Taking the view that airplane-like operations do not translate to airplane-like appearance, some reusable TSTO concepts have first stages that operate as VTOL or VTOHL aircraft. The DCX has proven the VTOL option design workable. Other designs like the DH-1 concept take it a step further and use a pop-up, pop-down approach, which delivers the orbiting stage to a point about 60 km above the Earth's surface, before dropping down to the launch pad again. In the case of the DH-1, the upper stage is effectively an almost SSTO with a more realistic mass fraction and which was optimized for reliability. <laughs> <laughs> Airplane-like first stage Some TSTO designs comprise an airplane-like first stage and a rocket-like second stage. The airplane elements can be wings, air-breathing engines, or both. This approach appeals because it transforms Earth's atmosphere from an obstacle into an advantage. 
Above a certain speed and altitude, wings and scramjets cease being effective, and the rocket is deployed to complete the trip to orbit. Sianga spacecraft was among the first concepts of this type. While not an orbital vehicle, the successful private spaceship-owned suborbital spacecraft developed for the Ansari X Prize demonstrated that a two-stage system with a winged aircraft as the lower half can reach the edge of space. The team behind SpaceshipOne has built and flown a commercial suborbital launch system, Spaceship 2, based on this technology. The Pegasus rocket while airplane launched, is not a two-stage to-orbit system because the rocket component itself is composed of multiple stages. <laughs> 